Welcome. It's that time of week again. Uh, it is Saturday. Oh, it's Sunday for us, actually. One o'clock in the morning. And it's the 10th of October in New York and most of the rest of the world. Uh, my name is Rowie and this is Kim. And we are proud to present Human Colonies Saturday webinar. It's very special because this is around the time of our second birthday now. So hucolo has been around for two years. So big woo woo and shout out and all that. And also a big shout out to Karen and Crystal because it's Karen's birthday today as well. So big love out to uh, Holland. So that's awesome. So very big welcome to everybody around the world who's tuning in. Thank you so much for waiting. I know we're a little bit late trying to get things organized. Um, I I just want to say it's been an amazing two years. It's just been it's it's almost like flown by in the amount of expansion we've done and how far everyone's come. I want to give yourself a big pat on the back, a big congratulations because I'm just personally my growth as well is for me is it's, it's been wonderful. But to see everybody else, it just helps elevate mine as well. So I'm I'm really blessed by everybody. So I just wanted to quickly get that in there. Um, I've got a couple of announcements, but um, should we wait till we do the announcements while people are arriving at Jim's place? Yeah, go right That's a good ahead. Idea. Yeah. Okay, all right, because there's a few people arriving at um, uh, Jim's in a new, new location today and got a bit lost, so we're just waiting for them to arrive. Um, first off, um, happy birthday wishes again to Human Colony and to Karen. Congratulations on that. Um, there's a couple more events coming up. Obviously, the meditation, guided meditations, which are really, really popular and really, really amazing. Um, if you want to be part of doing one, get in touch with us as well if you get the inspiration. But our next one, again, will be on Sunday at 7 p.m. EDT, and that will be with Kim this time. So really looking forward. And I've got a <laughs> feeling Alma Tox prepared something for that already. So... Uh, that should be interesting. The next thing I want to announce is the the Human Colony Reiki class, which we are offering. Uh, well, Max and Jim and a few others are uh, collaborating to offer you Reiki 1A and 1B, if I am correct. Um, the cost for the course is a hundred dollars. You will get a certificate and achievements with that so you will be properly recognized um, um, so make sure you contact uh, the email or the stuff on the links on the website um, the class is on October the 19th and the 26th as far as I know and that's from 2 to 6 EDT so that will be 8 hours of really good um, Reiki teaching there for $100 so Can wow. I just say this is top class people if you really want to learn a healing method that is literally off this world then please attend it is worth every penny it is worth every second that you spend with me with Max and Jim and hundred dollars is nothing compared to what you will be able to bring into your life and to others with what you will learn so I really would like to encourage everybody if you go to uh, humancolony.org you'll see there's a link there that says Reiki now this will be this week uh, far more promoted so you will all come across it no doubt um, we'll be making great efforts to do that so I just really want to give that a really good plug because Jim and Max are doing amazing work and we'd love to welcome you beautiful okay yeah normally it's Thanks. a lot more you know the, 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 the Reiki classes so I would definitely take advantage of that and yes. yeah, they are doing an excellent job. I, I, you know, I was the one that was watching, and um, the way they're explaining things, and you know, I have taken it, and I'm rewatching it because it, it's that good. Wow. Well, I'm glad everybody's getting something for it. So, if you, if you do want certification and you want the achievements and everything, I mean, obviously you can watch the videos free, but if you want the actual certification, you're going to have to. Pay. No, no, no. Oh, oh, sorry, I, that, that information's wrong. Just ignore that last minute. <laughs> so I've also got to give a big shout out to San Antonio because we've got a lovely group of people all gathered today down in San Antonio. I just wonder if we can put them on camera quickly. Yeah. And say, 
Yes. Everyone's got together. Will, down there. Dan, Roxy. Where's Maria? And Maria, but she's invisible. Is that a little trick you're <laughs> I don't doing? See the fear there. Oh, what? <laughs> Where's your Sophia? body? Oh, there's a face as well. <laughs> the fear is there too somewhere. Who? Zafira. Where is Zafira? Oh. Yes. Zafira is there too oh, somewhere. Where is she? I don't know. Is she under the camera? She's <laughs> behind the couch. <laughs> behind the couch. She's still smoking back there. <laughs> Well, so okay. you know there's a nice group there. Very good. <laughs> and oh, well, that's you. Very cute. Oh, Thank you for joining us today. Oh, we got our special bears. Oh, and also we got a um, we got another new little webinar that's going to be coming up. Roxy's very excited. It's going to be based upon stories, story time. Oh. So we're going to start arranging some new, more new events for you guys coming up. We've also got a Galatrix, and I think Will wants to say something, so... Yes. We're still presenting. Yes. Uh, yes. Ah, thank you. Okay. What is that? Okay. I need to be a woman, you see, then I can do, like, two things at once. <laughs> <laughs> How does that change with the hormones? Does that work? So I start taking female hormones, maybe I can start doing, like, multitasking. <laughs> Oh no! I mean, they're getting pretty big already, but <laughs> so. <laughs> so no, no, like you the way you are. You're, you're fine. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> so also, last thing to announce is just the T-shirt competition. Um, there's been some really good entries. Thank you very much for everybody's put in the hard work. It's just been absolutely beautiful. Um, they're going to go up soon, and we're going to have a vote on that online. So, without further ado, I'm going to pass you over to our wonderful Sabrina, who would like to introduce everybody here as well, um, and just bring in that beautiful feminine vibration that we always love. Welcome, Sabrina. Welcome, everybody, to our Saturday webinar and our birthday webinar, our second year. Uh, it's been quite a ride. We've We've grown a great deal, you know, in the last couple of weeks. Um, I don't know how many new members we have now, and it's been wonderful. I think, you know, what what Max started, I don't think he had any uh, idea of, of what it meant and how big it could get and what it could become. Um, I did think so, though. <laughs> um, so... But it's been great, and, and the job that Jim does, you know, channeling for everybody and doing it for free and helping everyone. Um, you know, the two of them started something really great um, that's benefited humanity. It's benefited all of us. It's benefited all those people that were in need. So um, in one way or another, spiritually and, and just 3D things. And um, so I think... I think that's why we celebrate um, because in, we are contributing to the growth of humanity and I think that's definitely something to celebrate, something to be proud of and something definitely to look forward to uh, more people um, becoming aware of themselves and who they are um, which is it's a wonderful thing so on that note I would like to uh, introduce, today we have Brooke, Brooke here. Uh, she was here at my house with Michelle, her mother. Uh, Carolina, she's new, welcome. Roy and Kim, of course. Jim has several people there, so we'll let him introduce <laughs> okay. um, who he has there. Karen, yeah. and, Karen and Crystal, Noha, Roxanne, has Guru Dan, uh, Safira, Maria, Will, and Roxy. I don't believe I missed anyone. Um, uh, Sean, Sheer, and of course myself. So 
Jim, would you like to introduce the people that are with you? Okay. Um, hold on. We still have people coming in, so <laughs> I would just have them say their names as we go around because I can't. I am having a little trouble seeing today. But um, I before I do that, I want to say thank you so much to Sabrina, Roy, Kim, Karen, Will. There's so many of you out there that have made such a difference. Roxy, you've been so helpful with Human Colony. Guru Dan, I just cannot thank you enough for all the things that you do. There's even more than that. Slava, Slava and uh, Peter Danny. and people behind the scenes that yeah. do so, so much for Human Colony. It's unbelievable. And if I forgot, I know Inna does some stuff and... Um, Wendy and Sarah, I just can't even name all the people that have done and been so helpful to Human Colony over the last couple of years, and I love you all very much. So, um, with me today is Angie and Mark and Helga and Mark, and who Hello. came in? Sarva. Sarva came in. I have not met Sarva, so I don't know where she went, but she'll be in here soon. And we're still expecting a couple other people, and I'm sure that they are directionally challenged. This is the first time that we're here at uh, Mark and Deb's house. So, uh, But my place was getting way too small, so we were, decided to change the venue up and move a couple different places. So... If I take a couple weeks off, it's because there's no place to go, <laughs> um, except for my house, and my house is too small at this point. It's just getting too, too small. So, and with no further ado, I will, um, I've had several requests for different people, but first I would like to bring Takur through to let you know what's going on with the human colonies and with the conference that went on with the governments and all those kinds of things. So, um, thank you very much. Is there anything else anybody needs to say? No, I, I, just, Sarva, I'm not I, I just want to add, I was quite surprised that Kesha's name wasn't mentioned, since he is the oh, celebration. Um, yes, the <laughs> Kesha is very helpful. I, I was trying to hit the human population first. Uh, oh, no, I, I meant with the celebrations of the birthday. You know, I thought he would have been quite like, Ooh, oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Happy birthday, Karen, That, by the way. That is wonderful. And mm. uh, Lakesh will probably, uh, yes, I. he being a very big birthday person, he might stop by, but I have no idea if he's there or not. So. Oh, I know we've had a lot of people requested today, so um, we'll let you bring to Kurt through and, and see what happens. Yeah. All right, we'll do to Kerr, and then we'll see who comes through after that. So much love to all of you, and we'll get started. I'll do a little meditation, and um, here we go. So Thank you, Jim. I'll be back. If there's any more announcements, we can do them later. Uh, but thank you for all the ones that you did, and thank you for everybody that is here. I really appreciate it, and so many of you that are – great people out there. I just love love who you are. So I'll be back in a little bit. I am Dekur. Welcome, Dekur. Thank you. I see that we're at a webinar. Very, very well. I understand that you want an update on the 
colonies and the meetings that have gone on between the Earth and the and the alien alliances. That is very well. I can tell you much about that. If there are any questions after I am finished, you may ask them then. But I will tell you that site-to-site -site holographic communication has been approved. However, there are rules and regulations that must be also approved. We will get the first draft of these from your governments on Monday or Tuesday. We will look at them and either agree or disagree on the ways to do things. Hopefully there is not too much bureaucratic red tape and or because we do not feel that that is necessary for this kind of travel because you will not be coming actually site to site but just holographically which is different than an actual site to site uh, event but we are hoping also that you are able to remember a lot more from the holographic event than you did from the uh, spiritual event, the bringing you astrally. So at this point, we are very excited that there are going to be some changes in the way that you are presented in the fourth dimension. You see, you will come from fourth dimension, a third dimension to third dimension, and then move to fourth dimension holographically, which will be a very exciting experience for you. And we're hoping that much memory will be retained in this method. There are other things discussed, such as um, different ways for us to communicate with Earth and different things that we would like to establish with your governments and have permission to do that are um, healthy for the Earth. And they have agreed to let us remove some chemtrails from your atmosphere um, but only a certain percent because they do not want it to be noticed by the human uh, population that is not aware of aliens and so they must be done at particular times of day when people are not aware that these things are happening or they're not visible perhaps so we are going to be working with more chemtrail removal which is a very th good thing for your planet because of the different uh, toxins that they bring to the atmosphere and this is hurting mostly trees and because it gets to a point where the trees cannot evolve quickly enough to um, live with these toxins so but it is something that we will do humanity is actually changing and evolving quicker more fast or what is the word rapidly rapidly so that you could actually grow with that there are diseases that go with toxins that come into your atmosphere however your physicians or scientists are working on cures for them already so it is an interesting development on your planet the other things that were discussed were scientific advancements in medicine and in technology which they are already working on they have backward engineered many things but there are certain things about the engineers engineering that they have done that is not effective because they do not have the right materials working with them also there is some biological material material being used in some of this technology that when it was disabled that technology dies that part of it will not exist any longer the bio biological portion will die out and they cannot replace it properly because they cannot see how it is connected or integrated as we as it were so therefore we are actually going to help them with that a little bit if the situations and times are correct for it to happen 
There is also some medical advancements that we would like to work with them. However, their pharmaceutical areas do not want these advancements because they're making too much money on the cures or the the medications for some of these things. You've already discovered a cure for cancer. You've already discovered cures for other things that are very expensive. The cure for AIDS has already been found. The cure for other things has been found as well, but your governments do not want, or actually the pharmaceutical areas of your uh, earth parts, I do not know how to express it, but they do not want these cures to come because that will mean a decline in their finances. However, we do have great other cures and we are trying to let them know that these will be beneficial to the earth and that we will find other ways for them to make money. However, right now they are battling with us on that, that particular um, thought process. Therefore, that is still going to be an ongoing discussion. We are in the midst of many different uh, question and answer periods and trying to get closer to first contact. We are also trying to find ways to communicate to your planet that will be most beneficial to people in uh, in the earth to recognize that aliens are friendly. We call ourselves aliens because we are not offended by it. Extraterrestrials actually means that we're not from earth or we are extra from earth and that is not actually very exact. So we actually prefer aliens over extraterrestrials. Off-worlders is a good term. It, it doesn't really matter to us what you call us. We are realizing that you are just using terms to bring us into re realization. If you use any term to bring us into realization, we are grateful. So therefore, we are not offended by any term that you would use to speak about us. But we are also trying to give the world a greater understanding of who we are in this realm and that we are not battling or going to take over your planet but wish to welcome you into the galaxy, welcome you into the understanding that we have our arms open for whenever you are ready for us. So that is one way we would like to depict ourselves is that we are not coming to take over, but we are coming to welcome you into the galaxy. And if you welcome us to Earth, we will come there too, if that is what you so choose. If you prefer that we stay off-world, but still acknowledge us, we will take that into consideration and be very happy with it. Any form of communication that can be improved with your planet is welcome. And so, therefore, that is one thing that we are working with your governments, and they seem to be softening in some ways toward this communication. We are they, of course, have understood that we have not attacked, we have not taken over, and we have listened carefully to everything that they have said for several years now. So... I think they are starting to soften about the way that we are working with them and perhaps within the next few years before 2020, first contact will be something of a, a positive thing, a reality for us all. So we are just praying and hoping that these communications continue to go further and further and we are very happy with the outcome of this last conference. It's been the most successful of all. I believe one of the points that was successful about is, it is was that they realized that their planet, your planet, is under much stress for the economy. In many, many places around your planet, there are many, many places financially in problems and therefore they are willing to hear our advice on these things 
although we do not want to change their future because they have free will to do that on their own, we do give suggestions, but they have still have to make the decisions on their own. Do you understand that? We are not telling them what to do. They are, we are only making suggestions, and we make several so that they can choose between them. Now, the, there is a right and a wrong decision. We will not give them any really wrong decisions, but some decisions will be slower activations than other systems. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. So do not be worried about all the negativity that is happening on the earth. The Cabal and the Shimera and Anunnaki and the others that are the Illuminati, all these things that have bad references or bad what can be considered uh, negative. We do not like the word bad. And we do not even like the word negative. But they do come across as these things, and that's the way you understand them. So that's the way we have to communicate it. So therefore, we, we understand where they stand. And you see, we've given your countries and your governments ways to overcome these things, but they must choose correctly. And they must choose together. Because only one country choosing the right decision will not be beneficial. It has to be an, a, a greater percent than 50% to make it worthwhile. So therefore, they have asked for some of our opinions, and therefore we have given them. But we were careful to give them several, because free will is necessary. Now... There are other things discussed, but I do not want to go into them right now because they are not, they have not been <laughs> distinguished as being a part of uh, awareness for the whole earth, but only awareness for those of uh, a higher government officials such as weaponry, war, and things of this nature, and so we will not discuss that today. However, if there are questions, please do not ask about uh, war or the weapons of war or anything of that nature because we are not at liberty to discuss them at this time. But if you do have questions, please ask them now. Wuha, Tsuka. Greetings. This is Rowie. Rowie, welcome. How are you? I'm wonderful. That's fantastic. I want to um, just backtrack a little bit to what's referred to the alien agenda. Yes. As you mentioned earlier. Um, there is um, obviously uh, the yin and yang, the balance. There is people like us who are very much on a positive note of the alien agenda and we trust that. We want to be part of the the galaxy, the universe, we want to spread our wings and fly and explore again like we used to hundreds of years ago. Yes. But there's also a, a lot of people that feel there's a negative and have been fed information, there's a negative alien agenda. Do you have any message for anybody out there who might be listening that you could let them know what the agenda is? There are negative alien like agendas, yeah. Thank you for that question, because there are negative and alien agendas, but they are not ours. <laughs> They're agendas of other species, and I will not mention them, because that will give them, because not all of their species are negative. And we have made the mistake of saying what species they are, and then people will take a negative approach toward that particular species. And it is not all the completely all of that species that are negative, but factions of it. That is understood, I hope. But there yes. are those that wish to work with the governments of your planet in a negative way. Yes, there is an alien agenda. And also, many think that our agenda has a negative side as well. It is not that our, our agenda is negative. There is personal gain for us. Working with humanity does have a separate agenda for us than it does for you. And that is something that is always there. Whenever working with 
two different species, there is always another agenda because we will all, it is not that you will just benefit, but we will also benefit from it, and not in a negative way. Not that we are taking uh -huh. advantage of you, but we want to be in agreement about how we work with you. However, we have not revealed all of our agenda. So some have said that, yes, we can, yes, we are working for humanity, but no, we can't be trusted. But that is not quite true. We can be trusted to help humanity and bring truth to humanity. But the this other side of our agenda will be revealed at first contact. So that therefore, it just we are just making it easier for you to accept us. And we are not trying to do anything negative. Does that help you at all? Yes, it yes, does. I understand the, the balance of so. Uh, we, uh, have we have feedback. feedback. Um, um, I understand the balance of energy as well and how that interacts and why there has to be, you know, there's something we're getting from it, there's something you're getting from it. So yes. I understand that exchange completely. Win -win. And, sorry? Win-win. Win-win. Yeah, a win-win situation. Yes. But I guess there's a lot of people, like you mentioned before, with the pharmaceutical companies and other very, very high profitable companies that don't, do what they're supposed to do, they just sort of mimic what they're supposed to do and they're well, the ones that are being threatened by this. So, I'm sure yeah. that you're aware that those who have discovered the cure for cancer were eliminated from your planet. Some of those that discovered cures for things that cause, cost much money to purchase in humanity were eliminated because they did not want this cure to be exposed. And these people were to were bringing their information to the governments and were eliminated before they got there because they have spies everywhere to know what things have been discovered and what things have not been discovered and so therefore these cures are in the hands of the pharmaceutical companies they are not on the up and up in many ways and I will say that to you and they know that many people know that already. Okay, thank you, Takura. That that was my question. Now I think Sabrina wanted to follow up on that as well. Yes. Um, hello, Takura. Hello. Um. <laughs> um, my question was on on the site to site. Um, I was wondering if you could be a little more specific on on that. How is it going to work? Um, what are the rules? Um, what what is needed from us and from you? Well, that is to be seen what the rules are. But I can tell you what holographic site to site will be like in some ways. Instead of going in an astral form, your astral form will actually take on a holographic. Um, appearance, which means that it will be in a greater density in, in a lighter form. The light, you see, the astral is a pure physical form. The holographic is a light form. Does that make sense to you, first of all? Yes. Okay, then you, your astral will take on a light form. We know how to do that. We know how to do that. So on on that approach, we will bring you holographically, which means that it will be slightly more dense. Light is denser than spirit. Do you understand that? So therefore, you will be able to bring more information back, we are hoping, because you light also goes and it is put into matter. So it goes from spirit to light to matter. You see, the next step would be a site to site in a material form. But right now, we have learned how to put the astral into light form. Now, as far as the rules and regulations are concerned, they are, they are in charge of drawing up the rules and regulations for this particular kind of uh, transport. And they will give them to us. Monday or Tuesday of this coming week. The first draft will be coming. Um, 
However, I think that there may be delays on it because the last thing that we heard where they were there were some uh, different opinions about how it should be done. Most would like it to be done during sleeping hours. Others would like it to be controlled, which we do not want that because they can they do have an ability to control the vision of of this kind of light energy so it is important that we get the correct rules and regulations for this so we have not we have not volunteer uh, 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 we have not even seen what they are trying to propose in that way yet Okay, so I guess until that's ironed out, we have no idea when that could happen. It should take, I'm very positive in my outlook, and I am thinking that it should happen very quickly because this is not sight to sight. And so therefore, people will remember more, but it is still not a violation of the rules and regulations that they originally laid down. So I'm thinking that this could be a very exciting period of time for everyone. Is it like a loophole? It is. It's but like we have yet to see if this kind of sight to sight brings more memory back to the human, human uh, existence. But we are feeling that since it is a denser uh, reality, that it should. Do you understand that? It is very much more dense than the spiritual. And then the matter transfer is even more dense than that. So um, we are hoping for great results here. Okay. Um, now. Any questions in the room here? Can we move into the room for one moment? Okay. This is Mark the Older. <laughs> um, my question is, how would it be best for us as individuals to prepare for the holographic uh, visitations? Ah, excellent question. You will not have to prepare much because when you get to the colonies, you will be given an interview and let they will let you know that they were that. Um, what all to expect during this. However, we will let you know when they have chosen that you are going to go. And this will be part of the explanation, of course. Because if you they choose for you to go during the day, it will be different than if they choose for you to go during the night. And I will explain that if if it's necessary. So, but they will give you an interview. They do that anyway. When you go astrally, they sit you down and tell you what to expect, what you're going to see, what you're going to experience in the fourth dimension, that you are you're coming there from third dimension to third dimension, but they will move you into a fourth dimensional situation. And this will be even a greater sensation because astral will give you a... A, a lighter sensation than the light being the holographic will give you a greater sensation of what fourth dimension is like. So therefore, the interview will be slightly different and bring in much more information about that than once prior. So this will let you know how much information that you will need. Can I add to that because... <clears throat> Can I add to that, please? Yes. I'm going to sit on your lap. <laughs> um, I don't know if he meant to also ask. I would imagine many from the human colony would like to be part of this and how to make sure that we are also included and at least that we would like to go and who goes and for what reason. Thank you. Whenever. Very good question. Thank you. She was saying that... She, those that want to come holographically will, she wants to know how they're going to know if they want to go holographically if they're, or if they're going to go just astrally still because some will not want to go 
holographically still. And so, understandable. When we come to you, this is also part of the rules and regulations that are being ironed out. But my thought process is that when we do come to you, you will tell us which way you, your subconscious will let us know if you want to just go astrally or if you want to go holographically. And you will know, we will know by your reaction what you want to do. Now, if you would like to state it beforehand, if you would like to tell us out loud or write it on the site or whatever you want to do to make sure that you are understood, you may do that as well. We will make sure that that happens. Thank you so much to Kurt. You are welcome. Um, yes, that you keep your hands down. You need to come over here. Because oh, they have a question. I have a question. They won't hear you unless you come over. His mic is on his face. Oh, okay. Will I be on camera? If you stand behind the lens, I'll be fine. But you'll be close enough to the mic. Oh, oh, if you oh, want to be I on camera, here? you can sit here. I do not. Where should I go? I'll be behind camera. here. No, okay. So this is not part of okay. no. We will okay. lean forward so that you can speak into the microphone. So my understanding is that although there are those who have a fraction of it that are um, not to our benefit, we need to have faith and trust that you desire to work cooperatively with us. Is that a correct? Yes, we are working cooperatively with you, correct. And that we need to have faith that that's... Yes, that, that, that we are happen. telling you the truth and that we are on the up and up. So I was having, I w was wondering about, are you familiar with the Baha'is at all? The what? The Baha'is. We have heard of them, but we are not in full contact with them. Why? I was just wondering what type of an influence the 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 Baha'is are having on the benefit of the planet and that sort of thing. We are trying not to judge anyone at this point, and the, and so therefore we are letting other those others work the way they work. Now, in our situation, we are doing our best to just keep everything under control because we do work with uh, seismic. We work with volcanic. We work with the weather. So we are we are really not involving ourselves with any of their situations. Do you understand that? Yes. So where do you come from? We come from. We are uh, five different, actually now six different species that have come together in an alliance. Um, has Jim hung for everybody else? Yes, he did. Okay. Yep. So, he froze for now. Yeah, he's, he's, he's in a suspended emanation at the moment. I think yeah. they might be doing sight to sight. No, seriously. Like. <laughs> they took Jim already. <laughs> you want to channel, honey? Yes, <laughs> you want to? <laughs> no, I want to go. He'll be through. back soon. No worries. <laughs> He'll be back. So, just time for a short interlude. Do 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 do. Yeah. Happy birthday. Let's sing happy and birthday. Let's ask him. Why is he starting to say who he was and where they're from and all that stuff? Oh, it's <laughs> interesting when it comes to that timing, eh, Karen? Yeah, I I I agree. Uh huh. Yeah, it's like we're from, and that's it. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Five different planets, five different species, not planets, five different species. Oh, Six. Okay. Six. Jim yeah. has dropped, unfortunately. Uh, uh, okay. Other people Don't. are piling <laughs> in. Johannes. <laughs> Sorry. <I would> have... <laughs> um, you, you took Jim's spot. <laughs> yeah, okay, I will leave again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It wasn't my, my bad. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. I would ask to any for anyone to please wait until Jim gets back in because he is the start of the show. <laughs> so 
if we can just uh, just wait a minute for now until he comes yeah. back in and then um, then you can all try and get in after. Thank you everyone. Thank I just you. let everybody know in Google Plus as well not to try and log in. Yeah. So hopefully I'll, I'll, I'll let Skype group know as well. Yeah, because at the moment we have to wait until he, he jumps in again. Uh, um, uh oh, okay. Ina. Hi, Ina. Welcome. Hi, Ina. Sorry, Ina, but um, that is um, Jim just dropped and you took his spot. Um, I hate to say it, but um, can you drop so Jim can get in? Ina, can you hear me? <laughs> Ina? Yeah. Ina, I need you to drop so that Jim can get in because he 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 lost his connection, so we need we need that spot for Jim. Or if anybody else is willing, I mean uh we got to get him back there, in. So. Is there not get Jim back in, Ina? Right. I just had a Skype message. James Charles went Thank offline you. on Skype. He may be rebooting. Okay. So there's a couple of spaces yeah. there. Um, Thank you, so Ina. Thanks. Okay. Let's yeah. see. Um, do we know what happened? I guess, did he lose the internet altogether or... Yeah, his Skype just went offline as well, so I think it possibly they rebooted. Possibly. I mean, that's just my judgment call. Um, okay, so on, on we could make a comment now about side to side. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim just signed back in on Skype. Go on, Sabrina, what have you got to say about side to side? Okay, so I I think this is great progress. I think this is really good. That, Absolutely. That this was that we got this far. So yeah. I can't wait to see see what happens. Um, yeah. I think we again, might be full again, Sabrina. Yes, guys. Um, again, I, I'm going to have to mention it again. The gym is not here, and we need a spot for Jim to be able to get in. I'd just like to say, anybody who's just joined in the last few minutes, Thank if they you. can drop, I know there yes. was a new member there, and we don't like to do that, but we've got to allow the space for Jim to come back. Yeah, we need, to, we need Jim here. So if it, if it helps, I do know that the, uh, the YouTube video, because my mother's watching it, is running at least 45 seconds behind the broadcast. Yeah, so. that's 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 usual. That okay. that is usual. Yeah. Um, David um, and Inna, I'm I'm, I'm going to have to ask you both just to drop for a second to allow Jim to come back in. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. I know you can't hear me now, but you yeah. hear me in the broadcast in a minute. Um, this happens every now and again with the webinar where we can't, yeah. you know, uh, there do he's back. Problems. And there we go. There we go. Welcome back, Jim. Right. Hi, Jim. So, um, unmute them. Oh, he's on the bottom of my list. I can't unmute him. Right, can we hear you, Jim? It's very far quiet. Away. It sounds far away. I am the church. What was the last thing that you heard from me? You sound very far away. We can't hear you, Tucker. Try again. Is this better? Yes. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Please carry on. What was the last thing you heard from me? You mentioned the, that there were five different species um, that were part of Gert Uh-oh. Something happened. That was the last thing we heard. Actually, there are six. However, I was. She asked a question about. I forget what the question was. 
It's been so long. But I was going to explain why the num why our planet ah it was about time and our planets have different time areas than your planet you work on a 24 hour system we work on a system that's much different to take care of different aspects of time however time doesn't really exist unless you create it do you understand that you create time to organize your worlds and that is how it is worked. So everyone's time, every species, has a different interpretation of what time is because they organize it differently. Does that make sense to you? Yes. And how do you organize it? <clears throat> how we organize time is in sectors as well to help us to get things done. However, we want to tell you that our astrology and numerology are totally different from yours because you see, your new number system is different than our number system, and if you want to go universally, then you would have to eliminate time from the time from the equation and use distance and movement. And therefore, distance and movement are how we base our horoscopes and our numerology. There is no time involved in it because time is different in all parts of the universe. There is no universal time element. So therefore, it cannot be a universal uh, horoscope cannot be made if you base it on time. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when a child is being born, when the crowning starts, or when the, the hatching starts, or whatever thing that starts with that birth. That is the time that the sky is observed. And a video or a movie or whatever you want to call it of the sky is observed because that is the beginning of their horoscope and when they re leave the, the mother completely that is the end of the horoscope. Or whenever the, the egg is completely hatched <laughs> they are totally out of the egg, then that is when that their horoscope is finished. So that portion of the sky that is seen in that area directly above them, as their planet moves, I forgot to mention that, their planet is moving, you understand. And so as they're being born, they're coming out of the, er, the birth canal or coming into the world in a different way, that portion of the sky is being watched as the planet moves and when they are totally out of the birth canal or totally into another reality other than the being born, that is their horoscope. So whatever portion of the sky is being observed directly above them during that period of time is what their horoscope becomes, and everyone's is distinctly different. To Kerr, um, uh, Ruth had had a follow-up question to the side to side, so I'm going to, you know, allow her to do that now. Wonderful. Sorry, Safira. Ikara. Continue. She said that she uh, got the question answered. Um, by listening to what you had said, we already had a question answer. So thank you so much. Very well. Okay. Thank you. Here. All righty then. What does that mean? Oh, oh yeah. Continue. Here. Hello. Sheer. How are you? Is there more than one speaking? No, it's just me. How are you, Tikur? I'm well, thank you. Hmm. I have a couple of questions. First of all, I know that the astral um, projections can be dismissed, so you can go, uh, come back to Earth and not remember everything because they sabotaged the memory. Is it the same thing with the holographic? The, hol the holographic will be more dense and less likely to be tampered with 
because of, of wavelengths. The spiritual wavelength is very thin. So therefore, the light wavelengths get through just fine. Do you understand that? Yes. Uh, you see light in a greater way. You do not see the spiritual. So with the holographic, you would be able to see it on an earthly level as well. So that is why we believe that it will be more effective. I see. And uh, first of all, I'm going to have a personal session with Jim on Tuesday. Could you come? I would like to speak with him, if it's okay. I, I, I did not hear all of that. Ah. You're going to have a personal session with Jim and ask what? And ask to speak with you, if you are uh, available at the time. That would be next Tuesday at 1300 this time. Yes. I understand, yes. Great. And last question. Um, how Israel uh, react to the government and everything that's going on? Because there are many things happening right now in Israel. It's a tough time here. Yes. Israel has been accepting yeah. uh, us more lately because they have... It is not something that they are fighting against. They are not even on the fence, but more of a yes than a no. So we have, uh, because of Elohim and other parties that have been involved in some of the discussions with the nations, there has been a turnaround in the Israel um, thought process, especially mm -hmm. in the government area. And they are willing to to accept us and therefore uh, they are not one of the ones we are concerned about at this time. Okay, that's wonderful and uh, if there's a way that I can help you with the Israelis, if they would like to meet me, uh, the offer always stands and if there's anything I can do to the group of Kniri also, always stand. Thank you I very understand. much. I understand very well. Hello Lina. Continue. And thank you, Sheer, yeah. for your offer. We no can't problem. Hear you. Who is next? All right. All right. There's somebody else trying to speak right now. We're going to skip you for now and go to the next person and see if you can fix the uh, audio problem. Okay. Uh, Krela? Yes, hello to Kerr. Hello. How are you? Fine. I'm sorry that I have not gotten back to you, but I needed to do some other things, and our time together will be longer. Okay, uh, excited for that. I have uh, two questions. My first one is, do I have any connections to the uh, lupine wolf yes. race. Yes, you do. I cannot tell you at this time what it is, but they told me immediately that it was a yes. I am not very familiar with the lupine race, but I will be familiar uh, familiarize myself in the future with them. There are so many species that are out there right now. We have made contact with many of them, but do not know them well. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Um, my second one is, are you, um, is there one, a lupine, that goes by the name of a Kala? One moment, please. We are aware of the lupine race. It is of a wolf nature. They are like wolves. They, are, they look and appear in some ways. They're much larger, of course. Uh, yes, that is a name that is coming through. Are you aware of this person? Have they channeled through you? Um, no, I'm only aware that I've had a past life connection with this person. Ah, yes. This is true. They're saying this is true. Yes. Okay, uh, thank you. You are welcome. Rowie? 
Uh, hi, Tuka. Um, I've got a couple of questions from some of our other members um, who are not present with us right now. Um, yes. The first question comes from Danny, um, the amazing, uh, wonderful soul who does all our transcripting. He sends his unconditional love to you and thanks you for all the help. And he asks if you may be able to help heal his left elbow problem. It's called tennis elbow. Yes. He says he's got some problems. Um, the first and second infusion did not work. Is it still the same? I will talk to Japan about that. One okay. moment. And this is what I want to do. 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 This is what I Beautiful. And there's a second question from him as well. He, he's requesting additional Shikani infusion to the maximum of 10%. He says that the first part of the infusion really gave him a huge step forward in his life. And he just wanted to say thanks to you and the Shikani buddies. Very well. It will be, we will see if it is improved. I cannot approve it on the spot. But I can see. They will check into that. I do not see any problem with that since he has taken all infusions very well. But we okay. will get back to him on that. Perfect. I'm sure that's um, hopefully answered his questions. Um, there was another sort of health question actually. It was coming from Inner, who um, very gracefully dropped to allow Jim back in and you back into the webinar. So I'd like to ask her a question as well. Um, she, she wants to ask. Do, does some of her mental and emotional, especially physical, gut problems come from her past lives? Yes. And how can she heal it if she doesn't I, know what the cause is? I will send her a message via Jim's email because there is an answer. Have her send me the, the question via Jim's email and we will answer it for her. Yes, yeah, she believes she was killed in the last life with a sword into the guts. Yes. She believes she needs to heal that, so I'll get, well, she's heard that now, so she will send you the message and um, she'll be in yes, contact. Yes, there is other things that are happening in that area as well. Okay. I hope that helps her greatly. And, you know, we hope you get better and on, on, the, on the way upwards. Yes, we will um, help her. Yes. Thank you, Tukar. Yes. Sabrina? Carolina? You are up. Continue. You unmute yourself. No, we, are you talking? We still can't hear you. No, we can't hear you. You got to fix the audio. We can see you moving. We yeah. just can't hear you, unfortunately. <laughs> so we know you're there. Yeah, I know. I, we know you're there. No, we can't hear you. So we'll, we'll move on, okay? You may have to click the gear icon at the top of the screen and change your default microphone. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Safira? Hello, Takur. This is Safira. Hello, Safira. How are you? I'm good. First, I would like to thank you for your dedication to us the last two years. Thank you very much, and all of Group Fikmir. Thank you. Thank you. So I have a question. I have a friend, and she has given me permission to, to ask you. Um, she is losing weight without knowing why. It's just getting skinnier and skinnier, and she had cancer when she was young, and I would like to ask for her. She's not part of Human Colony. Um, if she does have cancer or not. I know it's, I'm not asking you to take responsibility as a doctor, just asking from your, from your view. What is her name? At, well, I will connect to her through your thought processes. So her therefore, name? her name will not ne be necessary. Just think of her image at this time because we are all connected through, through our souls and our light fields. 
So if you connect to her energy right now, I will be able to tell you. Thank you. One moment, please. Thank you. I can see that there is something there is something wrong. Yes. I do not want to name it at this time, but I it is a form of cancer. Yes. Okay. Um there is something in the bloodstream. Mhm. Mm okay. There is something in the bloodstream. She needs to seek a medical attention. We cannot deal with that from this distance. We cannot. Okay. Well, is it something like very extreme, or is it something? Yes, that's it is life-threatening. I see. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can answer this or not, but if she would get attention immediately, could it be reversed or through? Yes, she can help herself quite a bit with immediate attention. I see. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tiffany. You're welcome. Who is next? Or do you wish me to leave? Um, Carolina was was the the last one. I believe she had sound before. Can you yes. speak to Yes. Okay. Yes. Ah, can you hear me now? You can hear. Yes, we can hear you now. Oh, hello, Tika. Hello, Carolina. How are you? I, I, I feel so much love for you. And thank, thank you for helping our planet. You're welcome. Um, I have, um, you, you told me before I had two girls. Yes. Um, my first question is, um, well, I would like to know more about them. And I would like to know when my DNA was taken so they could be conceived. It was taken when you gave permission the first time. When you were, when they had visited you, even before that, you were aware that you wanted to have children, and that you were there was a connection to the sky. As you were aware, you were attracted to Pleiadians quite yes. a bit, and therefore you, this has happened. And there was a Lyran connection as well. So. Um, you gave permission for your DNA to be taken two years ago. Right. I think I remember that. Yes. It was about two, almost exactly two years ago. Okay. Okay. My, uh, the second thing, um, I noticed that I remember many things from Colony One. Yes. Um, does that mean I have a, a potential for telepathy? You have, actually what it says is that you were not bombarded with a lot of waves on the way back down and that your memory retention was much better. We are very happy for you. This is a very good thing. We are glad to see that some people remember their visits uh, more than others. But now with the holographic forms that are going to be taken, there will be much more retention. We're thinking about at least 30% more. Thank you. Uh, we'll, we will be ready on the 28th, like you said. Yes, you are coming to the colonies on the 28th. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, You're welcome. Uh, just one more thing. Uh, will, I, will, will, will you be able to help me improve my telepathy? Of course. Thank you. Colony One is all about telepathy and languages. They go oh, hand in hand, actually. So they are they are both on Colony One. Colony Four is about channeling, which is something slightly different. So it had to be separated out from the telepathy and the ch the languages. But those the languages and telepathy are hand in hand, work together very well. Okay, thank you so much, Dakar. I can't wait to see you again, and I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Tucker. Uh, Caitlin had a question. She wanted. She said that apparently you have a message for her. If I do have a message for her, it would be private, and I would not want to announce it over the internet. 
So therefore, I have her send me a email and email through Jim's site. Okay. And perhaps I will get a hold of her on Skype. Okay. Um, and the other question was from Adriana. Ah, Adriana, how are you? Um, she wanted to ask um, about, she recently got a download about okay. crystals. Yes. You have an idea. Okay. Um, she wants to know how to activate the information. It will be activated when necessary. Right now, um, she, she has realized that she got an uh, download, but it's not necessary for it to be open quite yet. But I know she is impatient. Hang on, it will be opened. All right. Um, that was it for today, Takur. Yes. Um, I would like to thank you for coming and answering all our questions, giving us the update. Um, and to Who would you like to speak to next? Um, I Umak. believe there was an Andromedan there waiting also. I don't know. Um, yes, the Andromedan is here. Love to you, Tucker. Thank, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank this you, This particular Andromedan is a spirit guide to someone else. Are they wishing to speak right now, or is... Yes. They want to... Okay. Okay. Yeah. And... Thank you for two years of your company, Takur. It's been beautiful. Thank yes, you. Yes, Takur. Thank, thank you. you. Much, Much love. love. No, almost love you. Namaste, Takur. Ah, pleasant. I am clear. I am the Andromeda that you speak of. Welcome, clear. Clear, yes, that's good. Clear. Okay, welcome. It does not really matter. Welcome. Thank you. To Earth. I have been here once before. Um, do you have a message for us or? How would you like to speak to somebody? The Andromedan people are very excited about your ascension. We are within the solar system that you speak of that is yours. We do have, we cannot get out because the Blue Avians have blocked it off completely. However, we are not un, uh, unhappy about this. We are very happy that things are going well for you. Your energies are changing, and your mother Gaia Earth, as you call her, is going through many changes right now. And so that we are helping with the energy that everyone is giving to Mother Earth to bring her into a co a great a congealment of energy, if that is a good word. We are trying to balance the energies within her and they're still balancing at this time but the, the old energies and the new energies are coming together and they're still working together many have felt distractions and distress and and good things also as well but these energies will finally come together in a way that is very compatible and make your lives easier and your Reiki stronger and your understandings of things much greater. So your fourth dimensional energy is are now being brought into a greater ah, brightness. Is there questions? Um so it, how can we help Mother Gaia to also help balance those energies? Well, you give your energy to Mother Gaia. You give your thought processes and your meditations 
bleh, to her and she will benefit from all these things and it will help calm these energies and put them in the right structure because they must fit together because they have been separated. Do you understand that they were separated and now they must come together in a way that benefits her and all humanity. Okay, thank you. Anyone that it's with Jim, I wish to ask a question. Tell us if you could a little bit more about this barrier that I believe was completed in September um, of the light around us. It's it's such a powerful and, and positive that, situation. Yes, the light comes from you, not from anyone else. It was not a barrier, it was a more of a non-barrier. Um, it comes from your people, if I am speaking of the right light that you that make that is making your earth look more like a sun than a planet. The reflections are much greater. The illumination from your Enlightenment, and as you are growing as an enlightened civilization, you are looking brighter. Is that what you are speaking of? We're, I'm talking about the barrier so that obviously it keeps the dark from getting out. Ah, the barrier at the solar system. All edge. around the solar system. Yes. That Understood. Was a positive reason. Yes, because it keeps those in that are guilty and brings no more in for right now. Let me explain why it was done. It was not done to really br stop communications or stop no. people from coming no. in or out. It was done because your earth needs to balance. Mm -hmm. And with many coming in and out of the solar system, the energies would be disturbed. And that energy feels needs to come together in a peaceful way if possible and therefore whenever we have seen that there was much movement in the solar system this was disturbing Mother Earth's uh, compatibility with the energies so therefore the blue avians closed off the solar system at around Pluto area, even though there is more to your solar system to, than that, but they they cut it off there because they needed less movement in the solar system and less movement around your planet. So therefore, it is working. Thank you for that. Sixty-six percent less motion is helping Mother Gaia to create the right bond with the energies. Thank you very much. Brooke? You're welcome. Brooke. Hi. My name is Brooke. I don't think I've ever met an Andromedan before, so I'm very excited to meet you. Yes, thank you. Um, so I have a question, and um, it's... I guess I'm asking you because I'm not sure who to ask. Basically, I had my first download ever, and it was a large blue and white iridescent light box, and I couldn't get it open. And then when I finally did, what I found inside was a purple, a light purple light body that I was supposed to integrate into myself. And I yeah. did successfully, but I feel like it keeps the integration didn't take, and I'm not even sure what it is. And you seem very good with energy, so I wanted to see if you might have yes. an idea of what that is. The reason it is not integrated is because you are doubtful of what it is. So I will let you know that it is a violet flame. A violet flame is very powerful and healing and a wonderful thing. Um, I will... There is many explanations of how it can be with you, but just accept it because it is something that will give you healing and clarity. And you are meant to be someone of importance with this violet flame. 
it is also attached to Holy Fire Reiki because Holy Fire Reiki is now changed into a greater and much more successful healing device which you will be able to do but not in the same way others will be able to do it. You see, your voice will be the healing aspect and not your hands. Interesting. My voice? Like speaking or singing? or Do you have any... I'm sorry, yes. I didn't mean to... You will be able to just... heal people with laughter, with your thoughts, and with your great experiential thought process. Oh, okay. Because Jim threw somebody else, I don't remember who, but they said I was supposed to be a stand up comedian. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. Through laughter, you will bring laughter, and that is a healing property. However, it will be a greater healing than with most laughter. You will actually let them know that with their laughter at the beginning of your performance, as they laugh, they will be releasing things from their system that uh, does not belong there. And this is healing. You will be able to show them part of their self that needs to be released. And with that knowledge, they will be able to release it and let it go. I am so excited to hear that, and thank you so much. It is a very unusual thing. Yes, it is. Roy, did you have a question? Yeah, greetings, dear one. Welcome to our Hikra webinar. Um, before you came through, our beautiful Takur said that you were a spirit guide of somebody that is yeah. now. Would you able to be able to reveal this for this person? She is right here. <laughs> okay. Is that all you're going to give us? It is up to her to let you go. <laughs> of course, I respect that. Thank you. That was just my uh, bit of curiosity there. Thank you. And blessings to you. Um, would you be able to give us maybe a description of what you look like, um, just so we can get a bit of a visual idea? Well, I represent my people to her and to you. And I have. I am from the part of Andromeda that has not been destroyed by the collision of galaxies. And so therefore I am what I looked like on Andromeda was sort of humanoid but I do not have humanoid features. I have three eyes instead of two but it, that is only because our atmosphere is very dim. We have it very dim, and so in order to be able to see very well, we use three different eyes for different <laughs> spectrums of light. We can see into the dark, we can see into the glow of the light, or we can see the dusk-like areas. And so we have developed the three eyes for visual acuity, because there are many creatures on our planet from far in the past that have developed also intellectual abilities but they are still dangerous oh that's 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 awesome um how are your eyes arranged is it in a in a row or is it in a column or is it random on your head i am sorry i did not catch that someone is in pain oh dear Ask the question again. Right. I was inquiring about your... I'm, I'm fascinated by the idea of your, your eyesight and your vision. Um, I, we have our eyes that are level, one, one to each other, as you may know. I want to know, how are your three eyes arranged exactly? 
One is on the chin, and two are where your eyes are. But the chin is an area that is very protected. So therefore, right here in the chin area is the th is our third eye because our spiritual eye is on the forehead just as you are. So you have a pineal gland as well, well, like a type of pineal gland, third eye, like we do as well? Yes. Correct. Okay. One moment, there is someone needing my assistance. Thank you. Thank of course. You. Where is the pain? Right here. One moment, please. It will not take long. You feel the heat. Is it helping at all? Yes. Sia for Yasha. Is that better? Yasha. Is it lessening? Yes and no. Is it a spasm that you're having? Okay. I'm sorry, time it gets tight again. So we need to we need to move it. We need to get the muscle moving. Because it's it gets constricted. That is where the appendix That's what I'm wondering, the appendix and the, the gallbladder. Can you what the there is some. Is there a, is there a gallbladder? There is some portion of an organ that is here that is. Gallbladder. I believe it appendix. Appendix. This is the center. More center, yes. Gallbladder. Gallbladder. Appendix. There is one moment. Let me receive energy from my people. <laughs> it was it a sudden attack? Yes. Please send the energy that you have in your hands to this individual named Angela. Okay, we will. Healing must happen soon. Breathe very deeply. Very deeply. All the way down to your toes. Breathe very deeply and calm yourself because that is part of the attack, is that you are... Slowly. Yes, very good. Very slowly. There you go. In through your nose. Slowly. Yes, calming yourself will help. Concentrate on your breathing. Feel the air coming in. Feel only the air. In slowly. From the distance that I am. Slowly out of your mouth. Concentrate on your breath. Yes. Concentrate only on your breath. I'm bringing in others. Just feel the breath. Feel only the breath, slowly, much slower, 
Poshita, Arata Kota, Ahoti was here. Was it so sure? It will subside. It's gone down. It will subside and it is subsiding now. <laughs> Thank you for your help. The symbol of the Yoshungs was helpful. Yes, but she still needs to seek medical attention. Yes. 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 There is something there. It is within an organ. I had part of my lung removed from that area. Down this area. But it's not in the lung. I do not see it the lung. You see pancreas? I see no. The pancreas was on the other side. Yeah. So I think I that seeing, you're telling me that <clears throat> it is either gallbladder or appendix. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. That's. Yeah. But we will move forward because it is calming down at this time. Yes. We will speak of this later. Is yeah. she nauseated? Is she nauseous? It's Are you nauseous? nauseous? No. Okay. Or pain in the back, yeah. No. No, it is in the front. It is the gallbladder or the appendix. Yes, the gallbladder can also cause pain and, and it can radiate, it can go shoot to the back. Yes. Yes, it's right back there. Yes, it would be the appendix then. Yeah, she definitely needs to go to the doctor. She has to go see we a doctor. We shall see something, yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I with this with this event, I think we should stop. Okay. If that is all right with you, I think I that's not, very wise. Yes. I yes. wish do not yes. wish to parry at this time and cause any <clears throat> further problems. If it's the appendix, it's smart to go to the hospital. So go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I, I bid you adieu, and I will bring back this creature. Thank you. Thank you for helping her. Thank you. Um, we appreciate that. And uh, thank you for coming, and do come again. Thank you. And share with us. We appreciate it. Love to you. Love to you as well. Thank Namaste. Thank you. Much love. Namaste. Namaste. Hello. Hi, Jim. Hey. How are you? Good. Uh, Angie's Good. not feeling well, so um, we're going to close so that the clearing is needed. Oh, okay. Very good. I understand. Um, well, I hope everyone got their questions answered, and I love you guys very much, and I will talk to you again some other time. So... <laughs> Hey Jim, uh, do we Jim? want to do a blessing or? Uh, oh yes, a blessing before we yes. go. Yes, the birthday cake too. We got a we got a cake over here. Oh wow! Oh, how yes. cool! Made by Will and Maria for the two year anniversary. <laughs> oh, how lovely! That's great. Okay. Fabulous. So we're getting a lighter. Just a moment. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay. Thank you very I'll much. Put you on presentation and so we can and Karen can join in the celebration as well. Yeah. It's her birthday, so oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Karen. You Happy can help birthday, us blow Karen. out the candles. You can light it, you can oh, wow. nice. Put the number two on it. I love oh, it's yes. beautiful. Oh, Thank oh, you. I want <laughs> I think that you have to mail me a piece of that. <laughs> oh, that looks great. That looks great. Yeah.
That looks really good. So Bill is lighting the candle, and then we're going to sing. Oh, happy birthday. So happy second birthday, Karen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday to you, Lo. 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 Hey, that's nice Amazing. I want to see what the inside of that thing looks like. So, so, Jim, make a wish for Hukalo. <laughs> that it goes another thousand years. <laughs> May we all be physically on a nice ship. Yeah, really. In the past nice. years, we've definitely gone further than the colonies. <laughs> yes. The contact happens soon. Yes. The next meetup is going to be on a good trip near ship. Oh, wow. Cool. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a good one, Sophia. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Jim. Blow it out. Blow it out. Woo! Yay! No case to take it. Are you sure? Are you sure? I'm also cramped and I just wouldn't let go. Have you been drinking a lot of water lately? Very good. Nice All right. All right. Thank you so much. Sabrina, do you want to end with a prayer? Yes. Okay. Okay. Feeling is good. Mm. And then everyone could just mute their microphones up so um, we can just get a communication, please, guys. That's my intuition. I've had these, I've had it. The Katana Nana Kiyokus Kiyo Kurutu no no toko Skaria Katio Kotusi. A ye kuata nana nana kotu. O kuaka niya katio kotoko la kala katatana. You na siu kwa, na kiu kutu kutu kutu, o kiu ku nari kati o kuto natski, a yio na lia kata, o kuata na 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 na, kuru kutu, o yi kana ni o kolo, na ki kuata na 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 na, kias kiaka, o kua na na kiu kuata kiaka tu, teri o ku, o nu ka kiu kutu kutu, kiu sana a kiu kulali. E io na si a tua a catonos cua catalia cati e iuto no o corua la nana skiucotu tario cono sariaca e ati o cono cutu o saria cotono o lucutania caschi e chiucota a chiu o no cua cata a cua catacala e io coatana e iuaca anaca tua cataca. Blessings. Thank you, Sabrina. Let me just unmute Jim, see if he was listening. Hi, Jim. I just unmuted you. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't get an interpretation to that one, but um, that's okay. That's okay. It was uh, um, the intention was for healing for Angela and for oh, okay. on Earth. So that is what it was. It was for healing. Excellent. So. And it was just for you, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. And so, therefore, they didn't need an interpretation because it was just for Angela. Okay. So all right. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. you. We're a little early today, but that's all right. That's fine. So, um, <clears throat> I want to say thank you to everyone who was here, who attended, who joined us, who laughed. Who watched? Um, happy birthday, Hukalo! And um, you know, I hope everyone got something out of this webinar. I certainly did. And uh, I want to say hello to Brian. He just joined us. And uh, hey, guys. Hey, hey Brian. Brian. I wanted to give a shout out to Roxy and all them guys. 
Yes. Roxy, love and, you, hon. It's awesome yeah. seeing all you guys there. Wow. And for the group that's <laughs> together, a few club members, like Safira said, hopefully the next one would be all of us up on the ship. Cool. Oh, my yeah. God. Wouldn't that be oh, wonderful? Yeah. My goodness. That, that would be great. That would oh. be great. So. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> On that note, Rowie, would you like to um, say anything? Do you have anything else to say? Well, the announcements were done at the start. I mean, pretty much everything was covered. Um, okay. Just thank you to all the people that are watching on YouTube. Um, everybody else who watches us in the future and everything and that gets this, please visit our website. If you're interested in visiting the, the, the colonies, please sign up at www.humancolony.org. If you are able to and you find the information useful and it helps you in life, gets you loads of money or whatever, donate some. Share it. Yes. Be that exchange. Like Takura was talking about earlier, there is an exchange. So always respect that exchange of even if it's information or anything, so we can bring these messages to you and facilitate the awesome agenda we have got because we have so many things in the pipeline. We just got ideas coming out of here. We just don't know what to do with them. So also, if you're willing, if you've got any artistic skills, you know, anything like this, you want to help out, be part of the group. Um, people can contribute in any way, and we want you to be of your highest excitement of doing that. So if you have anything you want to offer, anything you can do, please just get in contact with any of us and we'll facilitate that to happen. So thank you. Yes, and, and yeah, we work by donation. So anything that you can donate, you know, would, would certainly go towards uh, Jim and Max and the website. So please do, you know, whatever you can donate, please do um, so that we can continue doing this and uh, you know that there are charges for maintaining the website and you know we wish we do wish to um, uh, find another platform or another way where more members could join so yeah. you know if we get more donations in that sense we start getting more in we could look further into that at the moment um, there isn't enough to do that so we can't do that so we do have to work by um, the honor system so that when people join, uh, then ask their questions and leave. So, but it would be nice if we could do that so more people could join us. So on that note, I would like to say goodbye to everyone and thank you for being here. Nice. Good. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Much love. Much and love. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.